Welcome back to the Dr. Paul Child Health and Wellness Show. Dr. Paul, what exactly is immunization? Immunization is vaccination. And what vaccinations do basically protect children from diseases. I can tell you that if you ask me what pediatrics was 100 years ago, it was basically taking care of children with infections that we really couldn't treat. Today, thankfully, because of vaccinations in large part, we're actually able to prevent these diseases. There are still diseases out there that we cannot treat, okay? Diphtheria, for example, polio for another one, tetanus is another one, um, and newer ones that are coming out. And what's happening today is we're seeing a marked decrease in these diseases. Diphtheria used to kill thousands of children. Pertussis, whooping cough, used to kill millions of children worldwide. And we're trying to put a stop to this. And thanks to vaccinations, we have been able to be successful. And this is why today all children are recommended to be vaccinated from the very first few months of life. And usually it's, there's a big vaccination schedule in the first uh, 18 months of life, and afterwards it's, it's, it's uh, less, uh, less intense, but it's important to do so. And the other thing that I like to say is with newer diseases that we're seeing, for example, hepatitis, newer vaccinations are, are being added on. So keep in touch with your pediatrician, keep in touch with the school or local clinics because newer vaccinations are coming out. For example, right now we're recommending uh, older children in grade four and five be vaccinated against the hepatitis vaccination, for example. Do all children need to be immunized? I believe that all children need to be immunized. There's no question about it. And that question uh, is uh, sometimes a hot potato. Um, a lot of advocates against vaccination are saying that vaccinations are dangerous, vaccinations cause disease, vaccinations can paralyze children. But indeed, if you look at the studies and you look at, if you look at the long run, you, you have to look at risk versus benefit. And in my mind, really, the vaccinations that are out there today are quite safe. And although there may be some side effects to a lot of the, to some of these vaccinations, by mo in most children there are really minimal or no side effects. And by far, if you look at the risk of decreasing and preventing these diseases, which otherwise would be deadly and not treatable, uh, there's no question that the benefit far outweighs the risks. When you say there are some side effects, what could those be? Well. The side effects of the vaccination depend on the vaccination itself. But before talking about the actual side effects, let me talk about how vaccinations work. Vaccinations, what they basically do is they try to trick your body. Ordinarily, you and I have antibodies in our body. And when we get a germ that comes into our body, these antibodies are developed and will kill off that germ. And in the future, if that germ comes to our body again, we'll be immune to that because we have antibodies against that germ. Now, a germ could be a virus. It could be a bacteria. How, however, if you and I are not immunized and not protected, then we'll get infected, right? So what happens is we have preparations of uh, bacteria, the germs themselves actually, that are actually modified and they're dead. And if we inject them into your body, you will actually not get the disease, but get the antibodies against the germ. So next time you get exposed to the actual germ itself, you'll have the antibodies and you'll be immune or protected. So that's how they work. Vaccinations are usually given by needle injection. We have some vaccinations that are given by mouth, but most are given by needle injection. And this scares the younger children I know. But it usually is painful just when you inject it and afterwards it goes away. I generally break down the side effects into two categories, one related to the actual injection itself. There could be pain, there could be redness and swelling around the area where the injection was, and generalized uh, related to the actual vaccine itself. Certain vaccines, for example, like the pertussis vaccination, has um, uh, side effects such as uh, very high fever irritability. Uh, in very, very rare cases, there may be some severe side effects uh, related to uh, some brain damage, and that has been controversial. However, long-term studies have really not shown this. And again, in the long run, the side effects are minimal to a bit of irritability, fever, local injection reactions. And really, that's about it. Coming up next on the Dr. Paul Child Health and Wellness Program, modern issues facing children and their families today.